Hey, what's going on guys, Hex here, and today we're taking a look at the Marvel Legends Spider-Man's Wave Typhoid Mary, uh, which I'm going to be honest, I don't know anything about. Uh, I bought this figure because it had a Venom Builder figure piece in it, which I really wanted. Uh, so, anyways, I'll probably sell this, but I figure while I have it, might as well take a look at it and show it off to you guys, see if it's something that you guys might want to pick up. Uh, give you guys a, a little 360 of her. So it comes with the figure, the build a figure piece, and the sword, which also has this connect to sword, which can come off, which looks pretty cool. I like that effect. Uh, I've got another figure that has that. I'm trying to remember what her name is, but magic, I think. So, anyways, uh, you know, not too, not too bad. Uh, taking the sword away, I like the sword. It's very cool, and if I can get it to focus there, you can see how cool it is. Uh, so silver, got some uh, uh, brown paint throughout here. Uh, the wrap itself looks uh, pretty nicely detailed. Uh, then you have, you know, this little bit that fits on there. So it looks very cool like that. And uh, taking a look at the figure. Uh, so let's look at that face sculpt. Not too bad. Marvel Legends, they do some really good jobs with the face sculpt. Uh, you can see nice lips and then got like half white and beige over here, whatever you want to call it. Uh, you got a little buckle painted silver around her neck and got some little shoulder pads on. Oh, that's cool. You can see the, the white from, uh, you know, this, uh, up underneath the jacket too. Got a little bit of skin showing, so not too bad. Uh, brown belt, which uh, is painted, and you got a nice silver buckle there. Uh, some some weird leggings, uh, if that's what they're supposed to be. Or is this a pant? And then she just ripped the pant off on this side, and then it has holes in her leggings. It's a bit odd, but uh, if that's the way the character is supposed to look, then uh, I guess they did a pretty nice job. Uh, these little bits, we've seen these before on some of the characters where they're just like little separate pieces so they'll go, you know, kind of up and down or they can rotate or whatever. Uh, but yeah, some, some nice paint. I like the hair, the way that it's done. So, not too, not too bad. Uh, checking out articulation. Uh, the head rotates. Uh, the hair kind of hinders it a little bit. Uh, for how much you know it can turn uh, because it's long here in the back But you have the neck joint that uh, is on the hinge where it goes back and forth Shoulder in and out rotates there No bicep you have the elbow bend and then it can rotate the hands they can rotate this goes left to right This one over here goes left to right as well the waist and ab sections just all here together right there and the cut uh, legs Back and forth, in and out. You have the thigh cut. It's got nice tight thighs. Uh, double joint on the knees and then the feet. You know, they go back and forth and rotate however you need to there. So she's she's not too bad. I just don't I don't know this character. Uh, Sometimes they, they throw these characters, I, I say, like, I collect the X-Men and Spider-Man waves, and that's really it for Marvel Legends, but sometimes they throw these characters in there, and um, I just don't know who they are, so I haven't been keeping up with current comics and stuff like that, so if they're not, like, an old school character, then uh, I, I'm not gonna really know who they are, so, uh, but anyways, there's a little look at her, so you can see if it's something that you might want to pick up in the store. Uh, there are some some pretty cool figures in this wave uh, as well. So, anyways, thanks a lot for watching, guys. Hopefully you enjoyed, and I'll talk to you guys later. Peace.